Okay, today I just received my order of how many dozen? So I, I ordered some bagels from Montreal, Canada. This is not your typical New York bagel. They do it much more different than Montreal, a little bit more traditional than what they do in New York. I know it's going to be contested that New York makes the best bagels, but Canadians will say otherwise. People from what the citizens of Montreal would say that this is much more superior than um, uh, New York style bagels. Uh, this is from Saint Viature Bagel. I've uh, discovered this bagel shop on TV. I can't remember, it's like a food show. Uh, but it's totally different. We like bagels, our family likes bagels, but we wanted to try something different. So I hope it holds true to its uh, claim to fame. Uh, Saint Viature in Montreal, Canada. So we ordered four dozen bagels. It was shipped, uh, ordered it online, so it was shipped from Canada to Vermont and then went all the way here to uh, San Diego. So I ordered the rosemary and sea salt. It well, we're first time unboxing it. So it comes nicely packaged. Uh, one bag will be half a dozen, which will be six bagels. This is the rosemary and sea salt. I ordered two of those because I like the word rosemary. I like, I like rosemary. Uh, this is the cinnamon and raisin, raisin, canelle et raisin. I got two bags of those too. And this one is really famous for them. Oh no, this is sesame. And also got the garni, all dressed, so everything's on it. Um, so this is basically four dozen, so four dozen bagels. That's a lot. My daughter's laughing because I, just, I actually forgot all about it that was arriving today and I went to the bakery and I bought tons of bread. I bought some Filipino bread called pan de sal and show pao. So I don't, we'll just have to uh, either freeze this or refrigerate them. So um, I'll have to do a taste test. I think I'll start off with the cinnamon and raisin because I like cinnamon. Oh no, let's start off with the more traditional one. I didn't get a plain one because I'm pretty sure it will taste the same like any other bagel, but that's just me. But I think, well, what they say is that um, the St. Viature bagels are made differently because these bagels are dipped in hun uh, boiled in honey water. And I don't think they do that in um, New York anymore. I think that was the old way of doing it and they happen to uh, they happen to make it still, they still happen to make it that way in uh, uh, St. Beatrice in Montreal. So here's the sesame. Mm -hmm. Let's test it. Try it. Mm -hmm. I have a big tub of uh, cream cheese here. We ran out of uh, smoked salmon. But we'll try. Let's see how this looks. I should probably warm it up, but. because we love bagels. So here's the sesame, it's loaded with sesame seed. Oh, that smells really good too, even after being shipped. Mm. So let me put some cream cheese. I'm sure this looks, will taste very well, goes perfectly during, with coffee in the morning. It really is very fragrant. You could smell the sesame seed. So here we go. Oh, good. It's nice and chewy. Not chewy, 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 but not delicious chewy. You know, there's a chewiness to it. Not what you'd expect in a bagel. Chewy but smooth, fragrant. And once you bite into it, you can smell that sesame seed. 
me that it's big. I'm excited with that's good. I have no complaints. Uh, it's actually much different from the New York bagels that I've experienced. Um, and also from the gro grocery bought uh, bagels. So if you're interested to uh, try this kind of bagel, I think I'll enjoy all of it. I'm sure I will, and the family will. Uh, just go to, uh, I ordered it online, go to St. Viateur Bagel, and they have an online system there where you can order it, and they ship it really quickly. The problem is, not a problem, but they are so in demand that it's hard to order them. You, you won't receive it in, within no week because it, you have to order in advance because there's they have so many orders. It's a lot of people are ordering it in the states. That's why they they're trying to catch up with the demand. Okay, so just go to Saint Viateur Bagel in Montreal. Uh, I don't know if I'm spelling it correct, uh, pronouncing it correctly, but it's. S T V I A T E U R B in Montreal. It's an, I think it, they say it's the oldest running bagel shop in Montreal. And you know how the Canadians are, they're really proud of their uh, of bagels, their baking skills. There. So uh, give it a shot. If you're interested, order it, order it online. Go to Sink Up to your bagel. Well, But I think if you warm it up, this is going to be uh, really, really good. It's good, huh? It's when you put spiat, if you warm this one up, it's really good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So here's the toasted sesame bagel. You can see all the sesame seeds. My daughter, Katrina, is putting in the cream cheese. But I think she's not gonna eat because she's stuck, she says. Taste it. Mmm! It's cold. The toasted sesame seed. Maybe it's not very young. If you toast the sesame seed, you, you can really smell it. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, St. Patrick Bagel says that the bagels will stay fresh at room temperature in a sealed bag up to four days or up to two months in the freezer. To enjoy the bagels long term, they recommend that you slice the bagels in half, freeze the bagels in a bag, and then toast the bagels when you're hungry. So I'm not actually toasting another half, and I warmed one in the microwave. I just wanted to see what's going to be the, the difference between um, toasted and uh, uh, microwave warm bagel. Okay. Salmon. I like salmon with 